We spent one night in this modern Japanese inn overlooking Toga Bay. It is one of the best views we ever had. The rain stopped and the sun starts to make its way through the clouds. This modern ryokan features just like a traditional Japanese ryokan, Japanese deco like tatami floors, futons, sliding doors, onsen pools and also kaiseki dining experience like you never had before. In my last vlog we traveled from Tsurunu Yu Onsen to Oga Peninsula in Akita and shared what there is to enjoy on the peninsula. And now it's time to check in. At the reception they inform you what time the sunset is. This poster is about the Oga no Namahage. This ritual is observed on New Year's Eve throughout Oga. All that is known of its origin is that it is an old and important folk cultural event. The entrance hall has pictures of Akita attraction. At the hotel reception hall you get an idea how stunning the view from the room might be. It is time, it's the perfect summer night. Those three words are spelled out in your eyes. But before I go on, say something. Behind this gorgeous decoration is the restaurant. Right in time for the sunset. Our Kaiseki menu. Our starter assorted sushi. Eel, sashimi from the region and local salt, pork soup from Akita. This is a bird view. In the middle you have the pork, top left is tempura, on the left side below there is rice with salmon and fish eggs, on the right side below is miso soup, on the right side top is tea. We have tempura sauce below the tempura in the middle top. This is fish terrine with ginger on top. The dinner ends with a dessert and green tea. When we returned to our room, our futons were laid out, which was lovely, and the curtain were drawn. So this is the next morning. As you can see, this is the onsen area on the female side. And finally the weather is good and we have blue skies. The 
decoration from Namahage. A shampoo bar. Here you undress and go into the onsen. And here you can get ready. It's time for our Kaiseki breakfast as a Gohan. <laughs> Lamps are made in Akita. It's time for us to check out and we are going along the coast to Aomori. We will visit the Tsugaru Quasi National Park, Lake Unico or 12 lakes. And we are interested in our Ike, the blue pond. This pond looks so mystical. It's a natural beauty and I have to see it. That's it for today. In my next video I will show you our Ike Pond. This is a forest area in Aomori and the national park is basically, it is in Tohoku, let's say it in this way, as you can see here on this map. We are driving there and you can do hike of the 12 ponds, which we are not doing. But I will show you next time in my video. And after our Ike Pond, we will go to the 1000 stone tatamis. This is a very interesting trip for me. I have never been in this part of Japan and I really, really love it. Please don't forget to like my video, subscribe to my channel and I see you next Thursday again. Bye! Thank you.